Hearts post first ever win at Breeze Modern Day to advance to second round of playoffs. Other high school football playoff scores, Saturday, October 27, 2018. The Effingham Hearts beat Breeze Modern Day 21 to 6 Saturday to advance to the second round of the Class 4A high school football playoffs. It's a first ever win for the Hearts over Modern Day at Breeze. The game was heard on 979 XFM and www. 979 XFM. Com. The Hearts played stellar defense and took advantage of modern day miscues to post the win. Three Mason hasty interceptions and a barrage of great punts by Dawson Whitten to keep modern day pinned deep in their own territory were also keys to the victory. Effingham will take on Paris in second round action next Saturday at 2 p.m. at Klosterman Field at Effingham High School. Paris advanced with a 42-14 win over Salem to improve to 10-0. The Hearts got the ball first Saturday and made it count, traveling 64 yards in five plays including a 53-yard run by Nathan Shackelford before quarterback Landon Wolf pounded it into the end zone from the one. Bo Hefner's extra point made it 7-0 with 10.09 left in the opening quarter. Effingham scored again with 6.37 left in the second quarter after a modern day punt deep in their own territory hit a teammate in the rear end. The ball was recovered at the modern day 3. It took three tries, but Kendall Ballman reached the end zone from the two and Ivan Angel's extra point made it 14-0. The Hearts extended the lead with 7.49 remaining in the third quarter after getting the ball at the modern day 33. Seven plays later, Ballman carried it in from the five and Hefner's extra point try was good to make it 21-0. Effingham didn't score again, and things got a little dicey when less than a minute after that third touchdown, Modern Day finally hit pay dirt when Modern Day quarterback Travis Jasper hit Garrett Pop with a 79-yard touchdown. The extra point was blocked by Ballman, but Modern Day was on the board with 6.50 to go in the third quarter. That, though, turned out to be the end of scoring in the game. The Hearts' domination on the scoreboard didn't extend to the rest of the stats. Each team ran 59 plays, and the Hearts had 12 first downs to the Knights' 10, but Modern Day racked up 299 yards of offense rushing and receiving to 182 yards for the Hearts. Effingham rushed for 133 yards, to just 33 yards for Modern Day, but Breeze threw for 266 yards to 49 yards for Effingham. Witten punted six times for the Hearts for 241 yards, averaging just over 40 yards per punt. In some cases, Witten didn't go for maximum distance and was able to consistently keep Modern Day a long way from the goal line to start a drive. By contrast, Modern Day had a difficult time with punts, kicking it away five times for just 77 yards, just over 15 yards per punt. Hasty's three interceptions netted just 27 yards, but the timing of the picks were a key, including one in the end zone on one of the few times Modern Day was knocking on the door about to score. Another came soon after the Hearts had turned the ball over and regained the momentum. It was a tough day on offense for the Hearts. Shackelford led with 72 yards rushing on three carries. Ballman scored twice, but totaled just 34 yards rushing on 15 carries. Logan Brown had 13 carries for 44 yards, Jacob Stoneburner had a carry for 2 yards, and Landon Wolf ended up with 9 rushes for minus 19 yards. Wolf, who was on the run much of the day, was 8 of 18 passing for 49 yards with 1 interception. Shackelford had 3 catches for 26 yards, Dylan Busher had 2 grabs for 10 yards, Cameron Culver 2 catches for 13 yards, and Ballman 1 for no gain. Other stats. Logan Brown had a punt return for no gain. Ivan Angel had four kickoffs for 186 yards, and Ballman and Shackelford each had a kickoff return, Ballman for 22 yards, Shackelford for 13 yards. Modern day quarterback Travis Jasper rushed 16 times for 16 yards, Justin Thole 6 for 8 yards, Zach Napavani's 2 for 8 yards, and Logan Ratterman 1 for 1 yard. Jasper threw the ball 27 times and completed 13 for 227 yards and the three interceptions along with the one score. When Jasper was out for a time with an injury, Reed Brondmeyer tried seven passes and completed two for 39 yards. Napavani's caught seven passes for 81 yards, Fop three for 148 yards including the touchdown catch, Thole two for 10 yards, Ben Casson two for seven yards, and Mitchell Haka one catch for 20 yards. Other modern day stats. Jasper punted three times for seven yards, and Haka punted twice for 70 yards, Fop returned four punts for just 24 yards, Nolan Potker had two kickoffs for 86 yards, and Napavanis returned four kickoffs for 88 yards. 
The Hearts improved to 8 to 2 with the win. A reminder for next Saturday's game that admission is $5 per person, as set by the IHSA. Passes are not valid for postseason play. A reminder to please take along exact change for next week's game. Here's a look at the week 1 playoff scoreboard. High school scores. Class 1A, Arcola 31, Salt Fork 13, Central A and M 48, Bridgeport Red Hill 40, Fisher 48, Cumberland 15, Edwards County 7, Madison 0, Class 2A, Tuscola 42, Villa Grove Heritage 6, Panna 28, Pythian Oakwood 21, Class 3A, Paxton Buckley Loda 33, Vandalia 6, Fairfield 34, Newton 28, OT, Greenville 28, Farmington 14. Class 4A, Effingham 21, Breeze Mater Dei 6. Paris 42, Salem 14. Kankiki McNamara 59, Only Richland County 18. Friday Night Taylorville 57, Chillicothe IVC 30. Friday Night Rochester 53, Breeze Central 27. Class 5A, Mattoon 28, Mascuda 24. Cahokia 22, MT. Zion 6.